Uh, hello and welcome everybody to my presentation. Um, I, my name is Edgar Zeiser and um, I will show you in my presentation how you can use our uh, solution called uh, IPCon uh, to connect a few bus devices, uh, a few, few devices uh, to cloud services. <clears throat> uh, I'm working as a software developer for the last uh, seven years at ITCOM and uh, I'm uh, mostly um, occupied in implementing uh, pro protocol um, uh, protocols like uh, OPC UA, MQTT, or S7. And by the way, MQTT is the reason why, uh, why I'm also responsible for the, for the integration of our um, uh, gateway solution towards the cloud services. Um, so what is ITCOM all about? ITCOM is a middle-sized company which was founded uh, some 20 years ago and is located in uh, Nuremberg, in the middle of Bavaria, Germany. And from day one, uh, ITCOM has specialized and focused on machine-to-machine -machine communication, especially in, in the industrial domain, and provides um, software, a few software solution, as well as um, uh, hardware with the software equipped. Um, Mostly, you will find our uh, communication solution um, uh, in the electricity domain uh, for uh, any kind of automation, auto automatization purposes. Um, exactly. Yes. Um, what is IPConf all about? IPConf, as I already told, is a pure software solution. And IPCOM stands for Industrial Protocol Conversion. I think this um, this term um, describes at best what it what the major major task of this uh, software is. It is to um, extract the information from uh, from a certain protocol and to be able to map it to a completely different protocol. And these protocols might do, have different uh, physical interfaces, different different communication schemes, and so on. It doesn't matter. We are able, IPConf is able to uh, to map this information between um, uh, between different different protocols. Um, usually, we at the time when IPConf uh, was developed, uh, there was no such thing like IoT. It was the upcoming of the internet, to be honest. And um, that's why you find our gateway solution, IPCOM, uh, as um, usually in, in scada like applications where you have on the bottom level the field uh, field devices. It might be an IED, IED, RTU, or PLC. And at the top level, you have like some control devices, whether it's a SCADA, a TSO, or a control center. And um, the goal of IDConf is now to um, to be able to connect these field devices. Let's pick, for example, the ID on the left side, which talks 61850, a very popular popular uh, protocol within the um, ele electricity domain. The goal is to retrieve a measurement from this um, ID and to be able to dispatch it, for example, to all three participants at top. Okay. IPConf um, is not bound to a particular platform, so it can be run uh, under Linux, on Windows, or even um, or even as a virtual appliance. And um, obviously, it has support for multiple protocols, which can run on the on the gateway simultaneously, and its uh, its architectural design allows it um, to allows us to um, to use the same piece of software on different devices. Which which um, it doesn't matter if it's a small device handling only 500 uh, data points or a high-end device which will uh, cope with up to 200,000 data points. It's the same software which running, and it's um, Great evidence for the robustness of the software solution. On which products 
which which are the products which you can which you can buy, providing uh, equipped with IP Um There's a bunch of it. The, um, the main criteria to decide which uh, solution fits best for your use case is uh, the question how many how many processing power you require and um, what kind of interfaces you want there to be. For example, if you want, need to connect uh, communication equipment, communication partners which um, use Profin or Profibus, then the MAC2 uh, is the right choice for you. If you if you only have a small application, you will pick the ARM-based um, SEC3. And if you want to manage and control a complete link park, then, then the IPC191 i7 is the best choice for you, which, as I already mentioned before, can handle up to 200,000 data points and uh, hundreds of uh, different communication partners. At this point, I would like to also to show you um, to show you a website which we which we created uh, in order to support you for fi in finding the right um, solution for you for your use case. Uh, there are basically three steps involved. The first one, in the first step, you you select the protocol which is to be supported. I have made it a selection here. On three, uh, three of three protocols, it's OPC UA client, a seven protocol, and the 61850 client, and the system provides you all applicable solutions. In the second step, you determine <coughs> how much performance uh, is required and uh, which kind of platform should be used, whether it's device bound platform or just or a pure software solution. And so there are a couple other things like the interface, number of interfaces required, and the type of interfaces. Whether it's done should be a solar or a device with I, digital I/O. After you you've done your selection, you you just need to select the um, the desired uh, product, and in the third step, there will be a price presented to you. All right. Not with the commercials. <coughs> let's take a look. Um, let's take a look to the uh, to the setup which I have created to um, to demonstrate the ability of IPCon in connecting field devices uh, to a cloud service. In this case, the cloud service is um, is a Cumulosity IoT and. I think I will switch to another theme. Just give me a second. Uh, yes, this is what I'm looking for. No, now you should uh, now you should see um, to, on the left on the bottom left uh, in the bottom left corner you should see the physical uh, the physical uh, demonstration setup which I, which I have prepared. So basically, we have on the bottom line the fuel devices, uh, and on the top the cloud service. It, it, you can tell you can tell also that on the bottom level it's the OT environment, OT world, operation technology, and above you have the IT, the information technology, and IPConf is like the um, the thing that uh, glues both parts together. So IPConf, <coughs> IPConf, um, the task of IPConf is to collect the data from the field devices and um, to present and publish it uh, securely to the cloud. We will see which uh, we will see how, how this is done and which which kind of failures might uh, might appear in such a um, uh, setup. Let me let me explain explain a little bit the setup in more detail. So we we have um, in the field level we have uh, one field device. It's from Vago. It acts as an RTU and is connected by IAC 104 to the, to the gateway. Then we have an um, 
uh, very popular small Siemens PLC, which connects uh, by, S by, the, by the S7 protocol to the IPConf gateway. And uh, on the very left side, we have uh, an HMI panel, which uh, shows us the simulated uh, field data and gives us uh, the, the right now in the, at the field, there are two measure, analog measurements which are stimulated. These are uh, shown by the bars on the left side. You have a, a wireless bar for the, for the measurement which comes from the PLC, Siemens PLC, and you have a blue bar which for the measurement which comes from Vago PLC. Um, moreover, the HMI panel provide, uh, offers us a toggle switch which allows us to create an alarm on the field level, which should also, all these process data should be tra uh, transported by the, or um, retrieved by the, uh, by the gateway and uh, sent to the cloud. The gateway is out, has two network connections. The red, red cable connects it to the internet and the green cable connects it to the field devices and to my local PC in uh, such a, such that I can uh, configure it and show you some demonstrations. Um, now that we have uh, we have de seen the demonstrational setup, let's take a look what kind what kind of data um, is published uh, to the cumulosity. Uh, in, within Cumulosity, I have prepared, prepared um, a cockpit dashboard with uh, two different widgets. One widget is the is the is the line chart, and here you see both analog values um, for so the lines, the lines in the, the oh. I did not, sorry, I did not switch to the right scene. So, sorry for this mistake. So, um, here is it once again. Here is the cockpit in the cloud IoT, and uh, the lines, the color of the lines in the chart correspond to the color of the bars. Here you can see that the uh, data is updated in real time. Both signals have the same shape, but the blue measurements are are uh, are published, or is the blue measurement is changing more frequently, it is, which is uh, 10 times a second, whereas um, the violet measurement is changing only one time as uh, twice a second. Apart from the um, analog values which are displayed, uh, there is also a widget which. Is um, is uh, which will show us uh, critical alarms, and um, if I hit the button, if I toggle the button on the HMI panel, you see an alarm popping up here. This, the naming and labeling of this alarm can be freely defi defined in the IP conf and uh, also timestamp when this uh, alarm was. Um, was retrieved at the account site. So basically, right now we already have a solution with IPCon, which allows you to integrate um, field devices in such a way that uh, the data can be uh, published uh, towards the um, cumulosity IoT as measurements or as uh, critical alarm uh, or as alarms. Let's, um, in the next step, I would like to introduce our uh, web-based configuration tool, which is called WebConfig. This tool is used um, to configure the gateway and also to uh, update um, the software. So the only thing you need to configure the gateway is WebConfig. There are no other tools involved. <coughs> um, most interesting thing is the configuration itself. So due to the shortened, so, uh, the short time frame of this presentation, I will skip um, all the other aspects of the configuration and will focus on the um, con communication aspects. Um, how it is um, 
the uh, the protocol stacks and and the logging as well as the data point configuration for our set uh, to connect a device to to ip conf we need the protocol stacks and uh, for our setup we have the first protocol stack is an ic 104 master which collects the data from the wagon rtu then we have a s7 client which uh, retrieves the data periodically requests the data from the siemens plc and then we have uh, two mqt publisher which um which will retrieve the data within ipconf from both this source protocol stacks and will publish them to the cumulosity why are there they why do we use two different uh, mqt publisher the reason is that data is not the same as the, that you have different type of, and categories of data if you take a, a look at um, a close look to this um line chart you will see that um, the the violet chart is updated every second and the blue chart is updated every five seconds the reason for this is that um, as i already mentioned the blue measurement <coughs> generates 10 samples a second and if uh, if we would publish every time an mqt telegram when a new sample arrives this would uh, a high load on the network and to avoid this and to improve the uh, the throughput we, we con i have configured the second mqt publish publish in such a way that it aggregates all data point changes within five seconds and, and will group them to send it out in a single mqt telegram on the other hand you have data like alarms you have data like like alarms uh, where you don't want to have any delay. It's a, it's a very time critical data and you want to see this, this data as soon as possible within uh, your um, within your cloud application. That's why- uh, for Bor Bor Boris, just what, one quick point. So I, I know you've got lo lots of information here. Um, uh, we, we're coming to the end of this session. So I wonder if it's possible to wrap up in the next 30 seconds or so. You, all right. All right, um, uh, so basically this is, uh, you use a different, you can use a different, you can use a, a different protocol stacks to connect different devices of different vendors and you have powerful tools like the simulation area to, to change, um, to, cha to see the real time values of the, of the data points and to change them. And you have an online logging which provides you with, with the ability to see the telegrams online in parallel, uh, in real time. And um, I think with the capabilities of IBConf to have a flexible communication platform and to support uh, a lot of different protocols, it is well speeded to, to take the part of an edge device which will connect uh, any kind of uh, field devices from the OT to the um, cloud environment and um, with this said if you're looking for a flexible scalable robust and reliable communication solution IP conf is definitely your choice uh, thank you thanks a lot for uh, for your attention